guys, it's Cindy Leach, your Polymer Clay Tutor, and today's studio tip. I'm going to show you a little bit about tinting polymer clay with pinata alcohol inks. Now, recently I got some new pinata um, color alcohol inks from Jacquard, and I got just a small sampling of all the colors that they have. They have tons of them. And I wanted to test them out to see how they looked in, polymer, in um, some different uh, mixes. And there was something interesting that came about, so I thought I would share it with you because I think a lot of you don't really understand um, pigments and that kind of thing. So, um, now we've been using alcohol inks in polymer clay for years. In fact, um, I've got a, a tutorial that I did years ago, um, back in 2012, called the Frosted Rainbow Flower Beads Tutorial. And I used alcohol inks to tint translucent clay here. And I actually used Adirondack inks at the time. And I have a few other samples here of projects that I've done using alcohol inks. So um, we've been using alcohol inks with polymer clay for a long time. But I, up until now, I haven't tried the pinata colors. Um, they aren't really here in my Michael's store, so I didn't happen to get them. But now I have some, so I wanted to test them out. But um, what I did was I made up some different sample chips and to see how the color, how strong and saturated the color was. And I thought it was quite interesting. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of one of these colors on here to let it dry. It takes a few minutes to dry. So, and then I'll talk more about how everything works. But what I've got is some um, Primo white translucent. This is a one inch by one inch square. Um, rolled out at a, um, a couple of playing cards thick. Um, and I've done all of these samples the same size so that we could see the, the color difference. And I'll just grab a, I'll just grab the green one. It's here. This color here is called lime green. And this particular grouping of colors has quite a, um, it has kind of a, a real southwestern kind of look to it. But I'm going to put one drop of alcohol ink on this square. I'm going to put one on this white one. So this is white Primo. That's white translucent. These are all whites here. Then I'm going to put two on here and three on here. Now, um, I'm just going to spread those out and let them dry for a minute. And then I'll go back to explaining what the heck I'm up to. <laughs> it can take a, a little bit of time and it's advantageous to uh, let it dry rather than to mix it in when it's wet. Okay, so let's do that, spread it out. And you can see the concept here is to have uh, a higher concentration of the alcohol ink for the same amount of clay, just to, to see how strong it is. All right, so what I did here, like I said, I've got in these rows here, I've got white translucent clay mixed with um, the different colors of alcohol ink. So this one here is called Santa Fe Red. This one is Baja Blue, this is Tangerine, and this is Lime Green. All of these sample chips here have been um, mixed together and baked. So this one here, had this is the translucent. It had one drop of the uh, Santa Fe Red on it. Now, look at the difference between mixing the um, alcohol ink with a translucent compared to mixing it with a white clay. So this clay here has the same amount of alcohol, it was the same amount of clay with the same amount of alcohol ink, so this one only had one drop as well, and it's so much darker when it's on translucent clay. Um, and when you look back over here at these samples, that you would, you might not realize that that's what's going to happen. And the reason why is because the white clay actually has a pigment in it. It has a white pigment in it. So the white pigment is mixing with the red pigment in the alcohol ink and it's making a pastel color. Now you would need to end up putting quite a bit. This one here has the three drops. It's finally starting to get some more um, saturation in it. And um, you would need to add a ton, a ton of uh, alcohol ink in order to get a, like a deep, rich, solid, opaque color like this one here. Um, this is cadmium red, 
from Primo. And a lot of times people will ask me, oh, can I just buy white and then mix in something to um, tint the clay? Well, you can tint it, but you're going to end up with a bunch of pastel colors if you're going to try to tint white. You're better off, if you want a uh, color, you're better off tinting translucent. And the reason for that is translucent doesn't actually have any pigment in it. It's just uh, well, it's not completely clear, but it's, um, it's translucent. So what happens is, is each of the little particles from the, um, from the pinata ink or the whatever alcohol ink you're using, the light hits it and it's not mixing with the other uh, white particles and everything else. So you end up with a color that ends up being darker. And I just wanted to show you some of these samples here. These are all made just with the pinata inks and translucent ink, I mean translucent clay. And when you have it in even denser amount of it, so this here, you know, this is quite a thin piece so the light is getting through. Um, so it, it's relatively light, but when you've got it mixed in quite a dense amount, the color gets darker and darker and darker. Um, which has a very unique look. Um, I was thinking of calling these pinata stones because they're made just with the pinata ink. And of course, they're not a real stone, they're a faux stone. But, so I just wanted to show you those. And now these are getting quite, quite dry. In fact, I think this one is dry here. Um, uh, whenever I mix an alcohol ink into polymer clay, I like to let it dry first. Some people don't, but the problem is if you don't let it dry first, that moisture that's in the um, alcohol ink can bubble up in your clay and especially in translucent, you can end up with a um, kind of a, a mooning effect, they call it, or placking, sometimes they call it, where you get these little um, breaks in the clay. But now that this is dry, um, the one drop dries quite quickly, I'm just going to be able to mix this right in by folding it over and mixing it in. Um, with the, once it's dry, you're basically just left with the pigment and then you can mix the pigment in. Um, and you can see it gives kind of a, a, a cool color. Baked up, that milkiness goes away in the translucent and you end up with a color just like this. And so you, there is a bit of a color shift once it's baked, but it's not a huge difference. Now for the uh, white clays, I'll just, I'm not going to bother mixing them all through, but here's, this one is dry now. And you can, uh, for the white clay, it'll be uh, just a little bit different. It'll have a more pastel kind of look to it. And, and you can see it mixes in quite easily. Now the problem is, is I mean, it's not a problem, but if you really, really wanted a super rich color competing with the white uh, pigments in the clay, you would need a lot of alcohol ink and it just, um, it could hinder the, um, the consistency of the clay. And especially if you didn't let it dry and it could, um, well, it could end up being more expensive than just getting the more opaque clay. So uh, tinting your own clay, it has its, its effects and you can do some very cool things with it, but it's not going, you're not going to just be able to buy white clay and get all the really rich, dark, dark colors like you can if you buy the, the solid clays. All right, so there it is. It's nice and mixed and you get the idea. So I just wanted to show you that there is lots of cool things that you can do with the, the inks. You can tint your clay, as you can see. Um, and as I was saying, it's more effective if you're tinting a translucent clay than um, some of these other ones. Or you can also use it on the outside of your clay like I have in some of these other techniques. Um, and you can use it for lots of really, really neat projects. So I encourage you to start playing around with some alcohol inks with your polymer clay um, and try out some new techniques. All right, if you wanna learn more about um, using alcohol inks, you can go to our blog and um, at www.polymerclaytutor.com. If you have any suggestions or if you um, have 
techniques, products, anything that you would like me to test that you don't know more about, you can check them out on the blog or you can leave a suggestion as well. And do let us know if you like this video. All right, so we'll see you next time and bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.